Howdy, folks. Welcome back the home of all things Western. Today, we're taking a ride down memory lane to revisit the classic TV series, Whispering Smith. Whispering Smith, was a Western television series that aired in the United States from 1961 to 1962. The show was based on a novel by Frank H. Spearman and had previously been adapted into a film in 1948. The series followed the adventures of Detective Tom, Whispering, Smith, a railroad detective who used his keen observational skills and quiet demeanor to solve crimes and bring justice to the Old West. And what better way to do it than with a, then and now, look at the talented cast that brought this Western gem to life. First up, we've got the legendary Audie Murphy, the man behind the soft-spoken but determined Detective Tom, Whispering, Smith. Join us as we uncover the, then and now, of Murphy's journey, from the dusty trails of the Old West to his enduring legacy in Hollywood. Audie Murphy as Detective Tom, Whispering, Smith. In the shadow of the Texas Pines, a legend was born. Audie Murphy, the man with the steely gaze and a heart as vast as the prairie, entered the world on June 20, 1925. But it was the role of Detective Tom, Whispering, Smith in the classic TV series, Whispering Smith, that remains his most iconic legacy. Biography and career. His journey from the battlefields of Europe to the Hollywood Hills was nothing short of extraordinary. Whispering Smith, marked his transition to television, where he brought a quiet intensity to the character of Tom Smith, a detective navigating the complexities of the Old West. Beyond his acting career, Adi authored books, composed country music, and continued his advocacy for veterans. Most successful roles. While, Whispering Smith, showcased Adi's versatility as an actor, his success extended to films like, To Hell and Back, a biographical war film where he portrayed himself, and, The Red Badge of Courage, a civil war drama. Most prestigious awards. His contributions to the film industry garnered nominations and accolades, including the Golden Globe Award for Most Promising Newcomer. Reason for Death. On May 28, 1971, Tragedy struck as Audie Murphy lost his life in a plane crash near Brush Mountain, Virginia, at the age of 45. Dot. Guy Mitchell as George Romick. Born Albert Cernick on February 22, 1927, in Detroit, Michigan, Guy's journey harmonized with the rhythm of the American West. But it was the role of George Romick in, Whispering Smith, that added a cowboy hat to his repertoire. Biography and career. Guy Mitchell's journey began in the world of music, where he swiftly climbed the charts with hits like, Singing the Blues, and, Heartaches by the Number. His transition to acting included notable roles in westerns, and, Whispering Smith, showcased his versatility as George Romick, a character entwined with the tapestry of the Old West. Most successful roles. While George Romick brought a musical cowboy charm to, Whispering Smith, Guy Mitchell's success extended to films like, Red Garters, and, Those Redheads from Seattle. Most prestigious awards. Guy Mitchell's achievements in the music industry earned him several chart-topping hits, but major acting awards remained elusive. Reason for death. On July 1, 1999, Guy Mitchell passed away at the age of 72. The cause of death was attributed to complications from heart surgery. Sam Buffington as Murray Sinclair. Born on August 13, 1919, Sam's journey through Hollywood's dusty trails. It was the role of Murray Sinclair in, Whispering Smith, that made his presence felt in the realm of Western television. Biography and career. Sam Buffington's journey in Hollywood began with bit parts in films like, The Great Waltz, before finding his niche in character roles. Whispering Smith, showcased his ability to bring authenticity to characters like Murray Sinclair, adding depth to the series. Most successful roles. While Murray Sinclair became a notable character in, Whispering Smith, Sam Buffington's career saw him in diverse roles, including appearances in Gunsmoke and The Twilight Zone. Most prestigious awards. Sam Buffington's contributions earned him respect in the industry, though major award recognition remained elusive. His ability to bring characters to life endeared him to fans of the Western genre. Reason for death. On January 30, 1990, Sam Buffington passed away at the age of 70. The cause of death was attributed to respiratory failure. Robert Folk as Sheriff Frank Emmett. Born on May 5, 1908, in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, rode into the world of Hollywood with the grit of a seasoned lawman. It was the role of Sheriff Frank Emmett in, Whispering Smith, that etched his name in the annals of Western television. 
Biography and Career. Robert Folk's path to Hollywood meandered through various character roles, but it was his embodiment of the stern and righteous Sheriff Frank Emmett that defined his Western legacy. Beyond, Whispering Smith, Folk left his mark on numerous Westerns and television shows, solidifying his status as a reliable presence in the genre. Most Successful Roles Sheriff Frank Emmett became synonymous with Robert Folk's portrayal of no-nonsense lawman. His career spanned various westerns, including roles in Gunsmoke and Rawhide. Most prestigious awards. While major awards may not have adorned his shelf, Robert Folk earned the respect of audiences and peers alike for his convincing and authentic portrayals. Reason for Death. On February 25, 1989, Robert Folk passed away at the age of 80. Robert Knapp as Lieutenant George Kennedy. Robert Knapp born on March 13, 1924, in Los Angeles, California, ventured into Hollywood's dramatic landscapes. It was the role of Lieutenant George Kennedy in, Whispering Smith, that highlighted his presence in the Western panorama. Biography and career. Robert Knapp's foray into acting took root in his hometown of Los Angeles. Whispering Smith, provided him a platform to showcase his range as an actor, and Lieutenant George Kennedy became a testament to his ability to bring depth to supporting roles. Most successful roles. Lieutenant George Kennedy added a layer of military precision to, Whispering Smith, but Robert Knapp's career included appearances in popular series like, Perry Mason, and, The Twilight Zone. Most prestigious awards. While major awards remained elusive, Robert Knapp's contributions to the world of television earned him the admiration of fans. Reason for Death On May 17, 2001, Robert Knapp passed away at the age of 77. The cause of death was attributed to complications from surgery. Eve McVeigh as Mama Malone Eve McVeigh, born on July 15, 1919, in Cincinnati, Ohio, sauntered into Hollywood with a flair that left an enduring mark. Yet, it was the role of Mama Malone in, Whispering Smith, that showcased her ability to steal scenes with a smile. Biography and career. Eve McVeigh's journey through Hollywood spanned over five decades, and, Whispering Smith, was just one chapter in her storied career. Mama Malone allowed her to bring humor and heart to the series, a testament to McVeigh's versatility. Beyond the show, McVeigh's resume included diverse roles in films and television shows, cementing her status as a respected character actress. Most Successful Roles Mama Malone endeared Eve McVeigh to, Whispering Smith, fans, but her career featured memorable appearances in classics like, High Noon, and, The Twilight Zone. Most Prestigious Awards While major awards eluded her, Eve McVeigh's contributions to the entertainment industry earned her admiration. Reason for Death on December 10, 1997, Eve McVeigh passed away at the age of 78. And there you have it, the tales of the unsung heroes of, Whispering Smith, Robert Folk, Robert Knapp, and Eve McVeigh. These actors, each with their unique talents, contributed to the rich tapestry of Western television. Which of these characters left the biggest imprint on your Western-loving hearts? Share your thoughts, memories, and favorite moments in the comments below. Let's turn this video into a gathering place where fans from every corner of the globe can celebrate the often overlooked but always essential characters of, Whispering Smith. Don't forget to hit that, like, button if you enjoyed this journey into the past, and if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to our channel for more tales from the golden age of television.